Hi guys, welcome to your Life Hacks PDP session. I'm going to show you how to make um, a cup of instant coffee and a cup of tea. Um, sounds really easy, but the first couple of times you may be asked to make one, if you haven't really made it before, I know I found it a little bit nerve wracking when I was like on work experience and stuff like that. Generally people will say something like, I want white and one. What does that mean? Pretty much white means milk and one, they're referring to a teaspoon of sugar or white and two, whatever it might be. So first of all, a cup of tea, I'm just gonna demonstrate an English breakfast. I've already boiled my kettle, it's really hot. Grab a mug, whatever cup they would like. In goes your tea bag. Uh, putting some water in, probably about three quarters full um, with the water. Jiggle that tea bag around a little bit. Okay, and this is where you can add the sugar. So if they said white and one, we're making a tea with one sugar and some milk. You want to make sure you give that a stir. There's no point giving them their tea without stirring it because um, the sugar wouldn't have dissolved, so it won't be very sweet. With a black tea, you probably want it to infuse for about two to three minutes so you can get nice flavouring. And add the milk after it's infused a little bit, otherwise you're going to lose a bit of the flavour. If you were making a herbal tea, like a peppermint tea, chamomile tea, green tea, um, I would be adding some cold water. Technically, uh, you, and if you had a proper tea maker, you would only uh, get the water to 80 degrees for a herbal tea, um, otherwise it can taste a little bit bitter. But with a black tea, it's full boiling, so it's 100 degrees. All right, that's been a couple of minutes. Oh, I'm gonna drink this in a second. Dip in a couple of biscuits will be good. That's to make Anzac biscuits. Oh, we're gonna ask them here. Okay. A nice stir again. Now, some people like their tea bag left in, some don't. So just ask the question if you're not sure. I like it left in. Lovely. Mm, there's my cup of tea. All right, moving on. Grab a spoon. Instant coffee. People either love or hate it. I'm going to use the Makona Barista blend today that Hughes would ever have around. Now, the trick with this is some people add the milk after the water, just like I did the tea, but the trick is to add the milk first. Do you know why? The boiling water burns the um, coffee, makes it taste bitter. So probably about a quarter of a cup, maybe just under a quarter of a cup. Depends how strong they want it of uh, milk. Give it a nice stir. Yeah, probably under a quarter, I reckon. Good mix around. Then while mixing, see if you can pour your boiling water. Now this person just asked for an instant coffee white. No sugar. If they had said white and one, I would add a sugar. If they said white and two, I would have added sugar. If they just said instant coffee and you're not sure, you always ask the question, would you like to mix with that? Good mix. There we go. We've got a nice instant coffee. Please go make someone a cup of tea or coffee. They would love you for it. And if you're at school, you can come and ask and make me one. I'll go for a tea, English breakfast, whiz of honey would be nice rather than sugar. But you know, whatever you got around. <laughs>